Hi everybody, I'm Kelly Mataria. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe down below. I have a very, very exciting video ready for you today, guys. We have a very, very special guest. This is Dad. And then Man I'm sure you remember. Dad, thank you so much for coming. I'm, pl I'm pleased to be part of this. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be such a good video today, guys. All of you out there have been asking for the pork bones recipe because we eat a lot of pork bones. We eat a lot of pork bones and everyone's been asking for the recipe, but I just couldn't do it. I couldn't because we have the pork bones recipe king right here. So I'd be doing you all a disservice by giving you money. We can get the ultimate one from the source himself. So it's going to be a wonderful video today. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, Dad, we're here with the Master Chef. Tell us what is your famous pork bones recipe? What are our ingredients? What's everything that's going into it? Uh, Kelly, hello, good evening. I, there's really no big formula or you know, secret to it. It's how you feel. If you're going to cook, you want to taste the food in your mouth and think about it in your mind before you actually go to it. And the next thing is, you have to get your ingredients in advance. Mm -hmm. I use onions, uh, I use tomato, uh, curry, curry powder, and coarse salt. Bones absorb a lot of fine salt, so you need coarse salt for that. Mm -hmm. Boil it just with plain water. And I always believe seasoning, uh, I'll put in my salt afterwards, because the meat sometimes, if you put you saw too early, it messes up the cooking. You want to boil it hour, hour and a half, and once it's done, uh, and be generous with your pots. Don't, 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 don't get the, you know, the bones, you know, they, they need, uh, you know, to, to sit at the base of the pot. Okay. You shouldn't pile the meat, otherwise mm -hmm. it doesn't cook well. How much water do you put in? Just covering them, slightly okay. covering, just above them, and then that allows you that allows it to boil over and as, as you're cooking, turn it several times so that every bit of it gets cooked properly. The next thing is evidently before it's done, I always use you know the juice that comes from the meat as you're cooking. You need to then drain some of that because that will make your stock for your gravy that you need. So once it's done, you want to drain it and how I test for getting it done, use a fork. Use a fork and if the fork can the fork slides in without pressure, then you know your pork is done. Oh it yes. looks fantastic. Yes. So, what kind of pork bones are these? These are uh, you know the, the the remnants of the spine. These are smoked pork bones. Smoked pork bones. Smoked pork bones. Mm -hmm. Yes. And once they are done, uh, the, that's the vegetable dish, which is just greens with a little bit of uh, tomato and a few onions, just to give it uh, a kick. And then we're going to have uh, red maize meal, salsa. This is the healthy one, isn't it? Yes, that's the healthy one. It's actually mm -hmm. very creamy when you cook it. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes well with your veggies and your pork bones. So right now, what I'm going to do is drain the remaining water. Uh, there's, very, there's a little bit left. So we're going to drain that and allow ourselves to, you know, then I want to fry uh, onions and tomatoes separately. Oh. Yes. Why separately? Because uh, pork bones, once they are done, become very brittle. The meat falls off if you're going to uh, add on to there. And you also want your tomatoes and your onions, which you're going to use ready to flavor it. You want them to cook nicely. Mm. And then introduce the meat back into the pot. 
This is why you need the expert. I say I would have lied to you guys. I would have lied to you guys. Now we're hearing from the doctor himself. Okay, like remember, like I boiled and I think I put salt in initially. Yeah, yeah. The boil and That's was, why I never quite tasted salt. the same. Yeah, it didn't quite have. <laughs> it was a freestyle. We freestyle. But yeah, no, yeah, we, yeah. Now, 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 this is this is the real recipe with the true master of the pork bones. the meat is simmering away dad has got a pot of salsa going on um, we're gonna be having some drinks our bartender what are we what are you cooking up for us today okay so we've got our usual throat sanitizer <laughs> uh, famous cross uh, we've got a bit of wine some kwv uh, got our water you know for dash um, and some ice gonna have a few drinks interesting story famous grass um there was a time when i was in cape town and uh, dad came over it happened to be father's day again so and i think they had rebranded so they had it saying the famous dad so i think we bought some and uh, yeah That's nice. <laughs> i don't even remember that uh, that yeah. time yeah cape town 2007 yeah. yeah long long time back but yeah we're gonna have a grass and uh get into the game Okay, so we're going to get into picking your brain a little bit, Dad. Mm -hmm. um, Dad is a fabulous cook. A fabulous, fabulous, fabulous cook. And I've been sampling his food for three, three, three years now. Yeah. And we find it so unconventional for a lot of men to cook. But how did that come about? I mean, look at this apron. Did you guys have a look at that apron? It says Mike and Priscilla. Wait, okay, let's talk about the apron first. Where did the apron come from? Um, the apron is... Uh... An idea that came up, we had um, uh, annual, uh, you know, Christmas party at church, mm -hmm. and um, what happened was that uh, the men were supposed to assist and support the event. It was meant to be a family event, mm -hmm. and for me, a family event meant that uh, we, you know, all participate. Yeah. And I volunteered the men uh, to serve, cook and serve mm -hmm. dinner uh, for Christmas, Christmas carols and all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, quite a, a, you know, a number of the men that we had were, were nervous. Uh, people said, well, we've never done this, you know, can we get some young people? Can and we they get don't know where their kitchens are, even at <laughs> home, so... Yeah. Yeah. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll take the lead. I already had my apron done, mm. so came up. And lo and behold, when before the event, people then said, but you didn't tell us it was April. And some of us, uh, we've never been in the kitchen. So, uh, but, you know, rolling it forward, uh, by the end of the evening, everybody enjoyed it because all the men wanted to be assigned. Everybody wanted to dish out, to ask whether everybody had seconds. And I think it also surprised the women there yeah. and the, the kids would never seen their dads you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so the following year uh, we had a similar event mm -hmm. and lo and behold I was the one without any duties because they had all brought their aprons and everyone wanted to do everything That's lovely. <laughs> so it's become something of a tradition so you're a trendsetter leading the pack, and, 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 leading the pack. Yeah. that's amazing but I'm sure it didn't start now like, wait, did you grow up cooking at home? What is your background in the kitchen when you're growing oh, up? Oh yeah, um, uh, my late mom, 
Um, he didn't believe in, uh, excuse me, I'm also attending to the parts here. Mm. Multitasking? Yeah. <laughs> uh, she, 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 you know, the, the, I was the eldest, I'm the eldest. Uh, and, uh, you know, she was a person who believed very much in all of us learning all the skills. Mm. So from laundry to cooking and for our sisters, uh, also we had to teach them what guys do, mm. you know. Being able to, you know, when they came of age to drive, change the car, feed the dog, yeah, you know, do all the, the, the household chores, and uh, that also comes from our grandparents within our family, um, on both sides, and uh, particularly on my dad's side. Um, he used to cook for us because mum was a nurse, yeah. and um, he, you know, she'd be sometimes on night duty or she'd come back tired, so dad would cook. And I, I saw him cook, you know, he, he cooked well, reasonably mm. well. And, and uh, so, and sometimes it would be, he'd be dishing out, if mom cooked, he'd dish out the food. So it was never an issue with me mm. uh, when I came of age. In fact, I was, as a bachelor, a lot of guys used to come with their wives before I got married. They would come and have meals at my house. Wow. And I had no problems with that. I just loved. You know, I still love cooking, mm. even now. And so, moving forward, um, with our own, you know, children, mm. we have three boys, and uh, one that's the See where I get it from. Number See one. where the cooking comes from. <laughs> number one, number two, number three are boys, and the youngest, the baby, is a girl. Mm. So, I, I thought it would make sense for them also to learn some of these skills. Mm. And they've uh, caught on very well. And it's, it's, it's been a fantastic journey having them. They all have their specialties, so. <laughs> well, who's your favorite? Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll leave that for another day. <laughs> that's, a, yeah, that's a very politically correct answer. <laughs> yes, we'll leave that for another day. Kelly, you've tasted all our cooking, I think, so I don't know. Yeah, that is the question. You... Yeah, let's ask a simpler question. Who's your favorite grandchild? <laughs> my favorite grandchild right now is number one. Ah, I see. The number one and only. Number one and only. My one one and only. Ah, I see. John, I see. MJ. Lovely. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Yes. And uh, I, I know that he's going to take up uh, the task. Mm -hmm. He's going to we'll pass the baton on yeah. to yeah, you. Yeah. He also cook. And yeah. he loves to cook. Yes. Yeah, he oh, loves to yeah. cook. In fact, yes. even when we've been here, mm -hmm. he's wanted to help me cook for the dog. Yeah. And, uh, so, Stop the man. We're in safe hands. Yeah. But uh, it's also uh, a point of discovery. Um, if you are aware of what happens in the hospitality trade, mm. the bulk of chefs are men. Mm. Yeah. And uh, the also because of the hours, you know, uh, cooking is not easy. Just your preparations mm. take up. If you're go if you're going to cook a meal over two hours, your preps are probably an hour mm. and more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the actual cooking is the slower part, it's, it's, it's the easier part. Mm. But it's getting all your ingredients on time, doing them nicely, and making sure that once you get onto the stove, you're not breaking the routine. Yeah, yeah. You want to cook it continuously, you want to savor the food and make sure that you don't shortchange those that are that are going to partake of the meal. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think a lot of people are put off by the preps. Yeah, but this is the chopping, yeah. the peeling, mm, the peeling, cleaning, the, the washing. Cleaning, all that is tough. Yeah, yeah. But I, I learned a long time ago that I can't cook on a dirty surface. I, I don't like spillage. Mm. I clean up. If, if, you know, if anything spills, I, mm. I get. I can't. I can't cook. I can't concentrate. Mm. So. I make sure that you know as things happen, I'm there. That way, you don't get spillages. You don't burn the food. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's an important part. But that's interesting. You know, yeah, like yeah. I think I think as 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 men or as as, as guys growing up, like it, it, it's it's not common, you know, for guys to cook and stuff. I think it's 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 starting to, you know, pick up as we go along. But I think you know even like in, in our podcast, right? Because we have a podcast mm -hmm. where we mm -hmm. discuss a whole bunch of topics. You know, Christian marriages. Or, or the issues around Christian marriage, and one of the things we we're discussing was, you know, uh, progressive men mm. um, who do certain things that aren't commonplace for a man yeah. uh, or for men. So the cooking thing, I think it's, we discussed it at length, and I think it's 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 
it's something that that comes as second nature to me and mm. to us as you know with my brothers even and everything mm. and now hearing you explain that you know it's come from even further generations above yeah. you know makes yeah. it yeah it actually it's on so i have another question for you dad i'm going to give you a case study mm. so i have a friend mm. who is uh she's my age mm. married to someone who doesn't believe in helping in any way in the domestic scene mm. and it does she can get home from work at 10 pm and the stove is cold mm. maybe you'd have bought himself pizza or whatever on the way so he can eat something in the meantime until she gets home so that she can then so she can then start cooking mm. at whatever mm. hour mm. And for her, she said it was becoming such a strain on her marriage because she was becoming so resentful. Mm -hmm. So how would you advise somebody like that who has a partner who just is just not interested? Also, maybe you grew up in a house where... Yeah, where it was never done. Never it was done, taboo. Yeah. Yeah. So how would, you, how would you advise him and how would you advise her to handle someone like him? Well, um, yeah, it is a tall order, but it's, it's doable. Um, I, I think a lot of the reservations we have as men are really a thing of personal choice. And secondly, uh, understanding that you have a partner, if they are working as hard as you are doing, um, it's a shared task. And in fact, I, I think one of the things that drove me to also enjoy cooking was um, I, I did not understand why I would ask someone else to cook for me all the time uh, and not enjoy whether I want it very spicy or... So what I would say is, uh, and I hope perhaps we can start, not classes, but some kind of communication to help guys. I'm hoping that many more will come on board. And imagine uh, what, how, how it helps. Uh, you know, mom works a lot, works hard. She's, and a lot of the time, you know, I know it's, it's, it's kind of like the expected chore that she does, mm -hmm. but I have no problem cooking. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you cook your food and your partner enjoys it mm -hmm. and surprise her, mm -hmm. surprise yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's something of a victory over stereotypes. Mm -hmm. yeah. In fact, people believe uh, that only women cook, but even in, our, in the traditional villages, our grandfather um, used to cook. Really? Cook. Yes, he used to he cook. Wow. And I remember that um, um, it was much later on when like our dad grew up and all that, that, you know, okay, there were so many other people there, but it was never an issue. Mm. So I think it's, 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 it's a point of liberation yeah. and it's a point of consideration. Mm. If you love someone, you should be able to do everything that it takes to make sure they're comfortable mm -hmm. and also for you uh, I, I'm, I'm willing to assist even to have a chat to find out what the, the real issue is because mm -hmm. sometimes people have uh, just the thing ah, we don't do that no mm -hmm. we can start from a simple thing yeah. do an egg yeah. breakfast yeah. Yeah. you know boil yeah. rice yeah. yeah small things mm -hmm. we're not asking you to be cooking pork bones. <laughs> no, no. That, this, this is level ten. Let's yes, start yes, level yes, one, yes, and yeah. then we go into pork bones. Oh, yeah. So yeah. it's 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 important um, that we we work. If, if if we truly love someone, we should be able to help them, even with a basic thing. Yeah. You can learn to do um, a very simple dish. You know, spaghetti and meats. That looks yeah. so, so mm. basic. There's no excuse. Yeah. Really. Yeah. yeah. You can even do you know commercial noodles. Yeah. But the fact that you prepared it, although it's commercial, it's there, you know, makes a difference. Yeah. So I, I, I really hope and believe that we all should be in the kitchen mm -hmm. doing yeah. something. Yeah. 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 Or maybe if, if, if maybe the frying part is challenging, at least yeah. chop up the stuff. Oh, yeah. Or oh, do yeah. the dishes. Oh yeah. I mean, there's, there's, there's so many ways you can help out. And yeah. 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 Especially so, quality kitchen conversations. That time when you're cooking, I think that's good bonding time as well. Oh yeah, it's excellent. Yeah. And then the, we also, you know, compare notes. Uh, Mum and I compare notes when we cook. Mm -hmm. And uh, I always learn from her. She's a better cook than I am. Mm -hmm. Although I think, uh, you know, uh, 
there was no big rest. <laughs> <laughs> I've had, had more time to practice than uh, she has. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. now into the professional life, but uh, yeah. it's good. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a learned skill. Now I've got uh, my grandson to teach. Mm. And uh, hopefully there'll be a few more coming after him. <laughs> well, Ooh, no. yeah, yeah, maybe one of these days, maybe one of these days. <laughs> yeah, because I, I notice he's lonely. He wants. Uh, he needs. <laughs> he needs. He needs a friend. friend. He needs, he needs, needs, friend. needs someone no. smaller to look after. Oh, we will work on it. We will work on it. <laughs> Noted with thanks. Noted with thanks. <laughs> Noted with thanks. Leaves room meet. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. So we are going to play a game called Never Have I Ever. Oh. Okay, so you have to have your glass nearby. Thank you. And then we're going to ask a series of questions. Okay. And if we need to charge the glasses. Yes, yeah, let, let, let's, let's, let's do let's some charge, refills. Charge it okay. and make sure we've got it. Because we don't want excuses. No excuses. Thank yeah. you. I need to adjust my pots a little bit. Sorry. Okay. I need to just adjust my pots a little bit. Sim as well, the, the salsa is cooking. Lovely. Yeah, thank you. Cool. Preparations done. Okay, so I'm going to explain the basic rules of the game. Yes, thank you. So, basically the game is called Never Have I Ever. So we're going to take turns asking you a question. Mm -hmm. And if it's something that you've done, mm -hmm. you have to take a sip of your drink. Ah. If it's some, And we want an explanation. And if it's something you haven't done, you don't have to sip. Yeah, so it can be something as simple as never have I ever had tea before, mm. and then if you have, you take a sip. If you haven't, you don't. Mm. Very but simple. Thing. Done it. If, if you've done, done it, it, you sip, and we want an explanation. <laughs> yeah, so that so, goes for you too. That goes for me as that well. So the same. Well. Qu the question is basically. So the same open. question is open for everyone. And for you, really? No, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the host. No, 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 not for me, not for me, okay. but for the others, yes. Okay, so we're gonna go into question one. You can go ahead. Question one: mm -hmm. um, Never ever have I ever cheated on a test. Oh, you've cheated on a test. Dinner's uh, ready. I uh, hope you, uh, you guys have. Uh, you're hungry now. I'm starving. Yeah, <laughs> starving. So Famished. there's uh, red maize meal sadza. The healthy one. The very, healthy one. Very, very nice and creamy. You put uh, your greens, that's cobble vegetable, green vegetable, uh, lightly fried in oil, some tomato and onion, and then you put a pop on top dish. The top dish. star of the show. Yes, top dish. So I hope you enjoy it, and I, I I'm sure that uh, you stopped enough to really <laughs> no, get in there going to take advantage yeah, actually yeah. if any of you guys try out dad's recipe please let us know in the comment section how did you do it how did it taste would love to hear your feedback as well thank you so much dad no for sharing. my pleasure my pleasure um i mean i, I I'm, 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 I'm more than excited that uh, at least someone is going to enjoy a meal yeah if you have any challenges uh, that i can assist with I'm happy to do so and if mm. you've got your own recipes that improve yeah, what yeah. we have shared Impossible Im <laughs> Impossible Impossible <laughs> This is as good as it gets, I don't care what any of you say But anyway, thank you so much Dad for not only thank your you. recipe but for your words of wisdom thank you. So to all our young couples out there, our young gentlemen, we've heard some very amazing words of wisdom yeah, from yeah, Dad yeah. Dad, we're going to hold you to that. You've made an offer to assist if there's anyone who needs um, just someone to talk to. Um, you can reach out to me via email and then I can send you that email address from there. But otherwise, don't suffer in silence. I think yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's, that's the biggest portion of it. Everything is in communication and there's nothing wrong with learning different ways that people cope with different issues. Mm. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Sorry, you can't join us. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> move with us. Oh, good. Yum, 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 yum.